coming through. You're playing Battlefront 2 and all of a sudden you get killed by a player with all these freaking weird purple cards. <laughs> That's not a coincidence. Or when you're waiting in the lobby to deploy and you see when your partner has a level, I don't know, 200 something by their name. Well, here's how you get that. Hey, -o, what is up guys? Baby Beluga here and today I'm going to show you how to level up your class in Star Wars Battlefront 2. So basically, EA made loot crates in the game very, very controversial. If you just look at Reddit or anywhere other, like just Google search and you can see how controversial this is. The game is actually under boycott basically by a lot of players. But the premise of it is if you spend real world money, you can unlock these abilities that will make your class better. Essentially, you could spend hundreds of hours playing this game and you might just maybe get a chance to unlock all the abilities for your certain class. Or a 10 year old can go up to their mother and just ask for their credit card and they would have the same abilities. That easy. So that being said, there is there is a way that you can unlock it without spending more money on an already overpriced game and here's how you do it. Okay, so if you go to the main menu and you go up to collection tab, you will see columns of different classes as well as heroes and ships, which you could also uh, unlock abilities for to make them better. So let's say you really like the specialist class. You would go up to specialist and you'll notice in the beginning, you can only equip one single card. And it says you need to reach level 5 to unlock another slot, so you could have two cards while you play. Now, you can't reach level 5 in a specific class by just playing with them, which, you know, that would make sense. You play with the class and you unlock level 5, but no. No, no. This is EA. Okay. So what you need to do is unlock cards. So when you go and click unlock, you'll notice on the right, that will have which level you currently are and what level you will be if you unlock it. Now this is different from your overall level when you level up in the game. This is specific class levels. So you're going to need to craft these cards for each class in order to level up your class to use the cards. Makes sense? <laughs> so if, for instance, if you click on this card and you click upgrade, you're going to level up your class. So then essentially you can eventually unlock all three slots. So in order to level up these cards or purchase these cards, you're going to need to either unlock them through the loot crates, which is all by chance, or you unlock them by getting crafting points. And you can get crafting uh, points by, you guessed it, the loot crates. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. So anyway, uh, you could get it by getting the loot crates. So every time you open a loot crate, you get a chance of getting crafting parts. And for the most part, once you gain at least 40 crafting parts, you can purchase a card and it gets higher up every time you want to upgrade that card. And so when you're out of crafting points, what you're going to do is play a couple matches online and then you're going to gain the credits so then you can purchase a loot crate and maybe, just maybe, you can get some crafting points. Or... <laughs> that's it. So that's how you level up your class in Battlefront. I do like the abilities and I like the cards. Just the way you need to unlock it, it's just, I don't know. The fact that EA is 100% going to make this game pay to win really takes a sense of achievement out of it. But what are you going to do? It's still pretty fun online, uh, but it's pay to win. It's going to turn into a pay to win game. Anyway guys, give this video a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for more content and more videos uh, giving you some helpful tips. Thank you.